Welcome to a Now Explain Rough Cut video. This video is part of our manual bookkeeping series. You can find related videos on our YouTube channel or search the internet for a Now Explain Rough Cut. So now, let's get explaining. What is a general ledger? What is a general ledger and why we use them in bookkeeping? What is a general ledger and why we use them in bookkeeping? What you need to be familiar with. Source documents, sales invoice daybook, sales credit note daybook, bank receipts daybook, purchase invoice daybook, purchase credit note daybook, bank payments daybook, the petty cash daybook, general journal daybook. These daybooks will be used to supply data to prepare ledgers the ledger cards. Other terminology you should understand, T accounts and debits and credits. The general ledger contains all the financial information for a business from which financial reports can be created. The business will have a chart of accounts, which is an index of all the financial information the business wants to report on. For each account in the chart of accounts, there must be a general ledger card. The complete general ledger is made up of all these individual ledger cards. Example of a general ledger card. This is a stationary ledger card where the information came from the purchase invoice daybook, the petty cash daybook, and will also show the total amount spent on stationary. Each individual account is related to one of the five main financial headings of income, expenditure, assets, liabilities, capital and reserves. Each individual account will have its own ledger or a ledger card. For example, you may find a ledger card for sales, cost of sales, stationary expenditure, rent expenditure, motor vehicle assets owned by the business, bank loans owed by the business. The information found on the ledger cards is taken from the books of original entry, commonly known as the day books. These day books are used to record information from the source documents, such as sales invoices and purchase invoices. Each of the general ledger accounts contains an individual part of the business's financial information. These individual ledger cards are then taken to create the trial balance as shown here. The trial balance is a pre-check before any other financial reports are created. It lists each general ledger card and the balance on that ledger. From the trial balance, a profit and loss statement and balance sheet can be created. The more financial details a business requires, the more general ledger accounts that must be kept. In a manual bookkeeping system, the transaction values recorded in a general ledger are usually the monthly total values of each analysed column in the daybooks. So here we can see the column analysis descriptions used in the general ledger from the sales invoice daybook and the overall totals will get posted to the general ledger, which you will see at the bottom. All general ledger cards are set up in the standard T account layout. The layout looks like the letter T. With debit values on the left hand side and credit values on the right hand side. The general ledger card accumulates information from all the daybooks. The general ledger's purpose is to allow the five main account types, assets, liabilities, income, expense and capital values to be calculated. This is done by creating ledger accounts that allow you to record and analyse each transaction from the daybooks onto a ledger card. What is a general ledger? The final summary. The general ledger card accumulates information from all the day books. The general ledger's purpose is to allow the five main account types, assets, liabilities, income, expense and capital values to be calculated. This is done by creating ledger accounts that allow you to record and analyse each transaction from the day books onto a ledger card. The overall total, usually the monthly total of each analysis, analysis column in each of the day books, are recorded on a general ledger card. For example, in the purchase invoice daybook, 
The analysis columns of stationery will have its own general ledger card. You will then be able to see what makes up the expenditure for stationery. So here's our stationery ledger card. The ledger card will indicate which daybook the transactions came from and allow you to trace back the values to the relevant daybook and the original source documents. So here's this information came from the purchase invoice daybook. This information came from the petty cash daybook. And here again is the total amount spent on stationery. This has been an introduction to what a general ledger is and where general ledgers are used in bookkeeping. For more information, go to nowexplain.com. Thank you for watching.